Guys, today I want to show you how to diagnose if you have a sticking caliper. And uh, one thing that I believe it is on mine is as I was driving, uh, my left brake on the other side froze up. And I went to grab some brake grease and I grabbed my hex tool, which is right here. Seven millimeter hex. And here's the brake grease right there. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and lube the caliper slides, both the caliper slide boots as well as the caliper slide bolt. And uh, easier way to do it is just pop the tire off, and you have pretty good access. But I'm I'm just gonna put this piece of plywood down, crawl underneath the truck, and I'll do it that way. Okay, there's the caliper right there. We're looking at the inside of the wheel. There's the brake line. And there is the bottom uh, caliper slide, and there's the top. And I'll use that hex tool just to loosen it up a bit, and we'll pull those boots or we'll pull those bolts out. All right, guys, a quick tip on this seven millimeter hex pipe, real quick. Uh, when you put this portion into the caliper slide boot. Those bolts are pretty tight, so what I did, it I went and grabbed my 7mm hex deep socket and I put that right on there, I put that portion into the boot and it gave me a lot more torque. You may need it, you may not, I needed it. Uh, so again, helpful tip. Okay, here is a close-up view of the caliper slide bolts now loosened up. And I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these out. Okay, that's what they look like right there. Okay, and now inside the boot right here. You want to put a whole bunch of grease inside that and you want to clean up that bolt that you just pulled out or that caliper slide and you want to uh, grease that up and clean it thoroughly first and then uh, lubricate it with that brake grease and again put a bunch of brake grease in here guys make sure you use brake grease specifically uh, because it is uh, specifically for uh, brakes it's going to not pick up as much dirt. It's not going to dry uh, like other greases uh, may. So once you get that done, you put those slides back in and you'll tighten them down. All right, there's a quick view of the boots that have been greased. And you'll put the cleaned and re-greased caliper slide bolt back in, thread first and just kind of work it around and turn it a little bit as you push it in and that'll help the grease make its way around uh, the bolt again and lubricate it even better and you'll just push it in until the stopping point at that point grab that hex tool and tighten it down you'll do the same for the top guys do me a favor if this helps or if it uh, ends up being the main problem uh, that caused the caliper to stick like the video subscribe to the channel and there's also a little support tab if you want to contribute toward our channel we keep making these great videos and again thank you guys have a great day I hope this helps alright and this is also a good time to check that brake line and make sure that brake line is on secure there's no leaks or any loose ends there One last thing I want to show you real quick is, again, I didn't feel like taking the tire off, so I turned the tire in a way where I can kind of hop back here. And let's see, that brake line right there, if that brake line is twisted or tight or bent in any way, especially right here where it comes out of the flange, if that is more of a 90 degree angle 
the brake fluid will actually have a harder time fluctuating back and forth through this line. So you want to make sure that there isn't any portions of the brake line that are actually going to cause or get in the way of that proper efficient flow of the brake fluid.